you lost 50%, half of your money in January compared to December. And not just you, everybody on YouTube did. Why is that? To answer, I will show you what we normally show only to investors, a page from our investor deck, which is right here. As you can see, there is a huge drop every January, and there's two Januaries, one here, one here, in the Freedom family. And this is YouTube wide, not just the Freedom Network. What happens is you are in the advertising business. Your revenue comes from people buying ads on videos on YouTube. In Christmas, everyone spends their ad budgets, so in January, there, are, there is no more money for ads, or there's half the money and it builds up again to the next December. So you will get that 50% back. This is just the normal cycle of being in the video ad business, making videos on YouTube. There was a question from a 242,000 subscriber channel, The Extreme Undead, that asked this very question yesterday. He was saying he made the same number of views in December so why did his earnings drop in January so much? And as I answered in the comments, it is because of the January effect. Because all YouTube ad budgets are spent during Christmas, advertisers have no money left in January, and the good news is ad budgets slowly grow, and there are spikes at the end of each quarter, March, June, and so on. And you may have noticed that in our graph here. You see this spike? That is end of March. Hey, we're just at the end of March. That means your revenues are spiking right now. You can check your YouTube analytics to see that. This is at the end of June. And then here is a, another spike at the end of September and then at the end of December and then another January. So I hope this helps you understand. And I have another comment to share from yesterday's video by Aaron Say What, a 40,000 subscriber channel who said, it's nice to see people back up freedom and I will too. Freedom has always paid me everything I earned even when I was transferred to MGN and my earnings disappeared. That's a normal thing is when you transfer from one CMS to another, your YouTube analytics estimated earnings are reset. That's just what YouTube does but your actual earnings don't get reset. You don't lose any money, it's just the display gets reset. And as Aaron Say What said, they never tried to pull anything suspicious despite me not being able to see what I earned on YouTube, but I do write it down to be sure. But they proved themselves to be trustworthy and paid exactly what I made. That is freedom. Got that in this episode. We are a family and we help each other grow together. We also pay each other everything that we earn. So as you can see from Aaron Say What, his comment, we do take payments very seriously. And you're going to get payments uh, tomorrow, I think, for your January earnings. Click that I to see the video talking about your new payment coming. Next comment. ATM Spice said, George, how can I get my money if I am under 18? So this is an excellent question. PayPal has a requirement that you must be 18 to own and operate a PayPal account. So if you're under 18, how do you get your money? Well, the easiest answer is ask your parents. They're over 18, I'm assuming, and they can open up a PayPal account and you can set their PayPal email address in your shiny freedom dashboard so that they will receive your money and then they can pay you or if you have a friend who's over 18 that you trust <laughs> as we're talking about money here then you can always ask your friend to use his paypal account so that's the best way you shouldn't wait until you turn 18 which might take three years but if you want to do that you can be sure that your money that you earn in freedom will safely accrue so that when you do turn 18 and you do have a PayPal account, we'll pay you everything you've accumulated over the years as a catch-up payment. Next comment. My Reminiscence said, 
He was wondering why the extreme undead, the person we just talked about at the beginning of this episode, had such a low RPM. And my answer to him is the one word answer, country. What RPM, which is revenue per thousand views, how much money you make from people watching your videos, because you're in your advertising business, everyone who makes videos on YouTube is in that business, it depends on who's watching your videos and how much advertisers are willing to pay for that audience. So if your viewership is from Thailand, you're going to make very little dollars per thousand views because the Thai market is not worth much to advertisers. But if your viewership is from the US or the UK or Canada or Australia or Germany or Japan or any of the high RPM countries, you will make a lot more money per thousand views. So it doesn't matter where, you're, where you are located, it doesn't matter where your YouTube channel country is set to, it matters who watches your videos, what country your viewership is from that determines your dollars per thousand views, how much money you make per thousand views. I hope that helps you understand. Next comment. Grand Toro said, you know what, George? I like you, man. Thank you. You are the Jerry Maguire of Partner Networks. I love that movie, Jerry Maguire, and thank you for that warm comment. Have you seen Jerry Maguire? What did you think of it? Tell me in the comments below. You really understand us as a real family, hands down for you from Monterrey, 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 Mexico. Peace out. Well, thank you for your warm words. You certainly brought a smile, and I will mention your warm comment on the next episode of The George Show. Check. Done. So thank you, Gran, Gran Toro. Let's have a look at your channel. You have exactly 100 subscribers. How many can you get after getting a little feature on The George Show? Let's take a look. Well, for the first thing I notice, you don't have a channel trailer. trailer. You haven't picked a video to be your default video which people will watch when they first come to your channel. So please set your default trailer video. Let's go to your videos and have a look at one. Well, I'm going to click on this one for no particular reason whatsoever. It's a completely random click. Tom Clancy's The Division. Baja Armadura Isigu. Okay. <laughs> I am not too sure what that video has to do with gameplay, but it certainly got my click. Let's look at a real gameplay video that your channel is about, shall we? <laughs> okay, so my feedback to you would be add some more emotion to your commentary, make it more exciting. You are playing football or soccer if you're in the US, and the commentator must get excited, otherwise the viewer will not be so excited to listen to your commentary. So I hope that helps, and let's go to the next comment. Gamer Dudes, he said, Hey George, if you read this, I guess I was wrong. I'm starting to see the better side of freedom. I have been for a week now since my original message. I used to rant a lot in the Freedom Comments about how people should leave. Why would you do that? <laughs> Although now I see more reason to join, to be honest. Well, Gamer Dudes, thank you for that change of heart. I would love to hear everybody's opinion. What do you think of Freedom? Have you changed your mind about whether we are a good network to be part of? Tell me in the comments below and tell me what changed your mind so we can do more of that. What changed Gamer Dude's mind were our forums where he met people through the chat that helped him find uh, collaborators and he even spent a few hours today redesigning his channel logo and banner because he's re-motivated to make videos. So check out our community forums at www.community.tm and introduce yourself and make new friends and use the chat. If you go to community.tm, you will see this, where you should click here and introduce yourself so you can grow your audience and meet new people. 
Crazy K Gaming said, I love position music and use their music in all my montages for CSGO. Let's take a look at one of your videos, shall we, Crazy K? You, Ben, you're the last one left alive, bro. Keep it up. Ben, watch your back. Watch your back, watch don't act like me. So, that was a pretty impressive freedom intro. I'm curious, where did you get that graphic? Because it's not in our branding kit. And did you render it yourself? Please tell us in the comments below. So he said he loves using position music. Where does he get position music from? Well, everyone in Freedom has full access to the entire Freedom collection on positionmusic.com. And I'll hide myself so you can see. This is the website. Simply click this little shiny Freedom button when you come to positionmusic.com to sign in with your Freedom account. Once you're signed in, you can access all of the music and you can find what, exactly what you're looking for by clicking this button here, Advanced Search, which will show you this page. So you can see that you can search by keywords, by the mood, by instruments, and genre. A lot of different ways to find exactly the music you want from positionmusic.com. There's almost 20,000 tracks here of high quality, music that is used in movies, video games, and TV shows. And if you've seen The George Show before, you're probably getting tired of me saying the same thing about position music on each episode. But it's true, guys. All of this stuff is normally like $40,000 to license, and you get it for free for all your videos and live streams. Just head on over to positionmusic.com and Tell me in the comments below what you think of Position Music. What are your favorite tracks? What are your favorite videos made using Position Music? Send us links to those down there. Because we actually feature Position Music on our main channel, youtube.com slash freedom. We feature your videos using Position Music to be exact. So if you go to youtube.com slash freedom, you'll see a few new playlists like Position Music used by Freedom Partners, as well as OBS Tips by Freedom Partners, as well as Channel Trailers by Freedom Partners. So if you have videos of any of these categories that you think would be worthy of being placed in these playlists on Freedom Central, send us links to all of that down there in the comments below. And the last comment today is from Ai Joao. I'm sure I mispronounced that, but let's just call you Ai. He said he would love to see The George Show in other languages. He's from Portugal himself, so he was volunteering to make The George Show in Portuguese, and he's, he thinks it will be easy to find other candidates for Russian, Spanish, and other languages. So what do you guys think? Should we create The George Show in other languages? Should we have George in Spanish, George in Portuguese, George in Russian, and so on and so on to say what I say in that local language? And should it be on another channel or should it be on this channel? I'd love to hear, hear all your feedback down there in the comments below. And who am I? I am George, Jerry McGuire, George Sunpai, Papa George, currently is the list of names I've been called in the comments below. I am George, CEO and founder of Freedom, our beautiful family that we all help each other, where we all help each other grow together. And you've been watching. And we will grow together as a family because this is the Freedom Family. You are part of it. 
We are all part of it and we're all growing together. So grow with us and partner with freedom. That play now button right there on the video bar is all you need to click to get started.